The armed forces of the Russian Federation continue the special military operation in Ukraine. On June 20, at about 5 o'clock in the morning, the Kyiv regime attempted to capture Snake Island. The plan of the operation, composed by the Kyiv regime, supposed to launch massive air and artillery attacks at Snake Island to disembark troops and capture it. The air attack has involved more than 15 Ukrainian attack and reconnaissance unmanned aerial vehicles, adjusted by two Bayrock 32 unmanned aerial vehicles. Russian means detected a Global Hawk RQ-4 strategic reconnaissance unmanned aerial vehicle of the U.S. Air Force at high altitudes near Snake Island. Ukrainian unmanned aerial vehicles were supported in the air by S-300 air defense systems from their combat positions near Tuzla and Ochakov. Missile and artillery attacks at Snake Island were launched by Ukrainian .u ballistic missiles, Uragan multiple rocket launchers and M-777 howitzers from their combat positions to the west from Odessa and Inkubansky Island. Russian air defense means, namely Panzer and Tor air defense missile systems, have destroyed all the destruction means of the enemy launched at Snake Island. The destroyed targets were 13 unmanned aerial vehicles, 4 Tochka U missiles, and 21 projectiles of Uragan multiple rocket launcher. No Ukrainian destruction means have reached their targets in Snake Island. The unsuccessful fire attack forced the enemy to abandon the landing to Snake Island. After being convinced that the attempt to seize the island had failed, the Kyiv regime took an attempt of a new gamble related to Russian gas infrastructure facilities in the northwestern part of the Black Sea. After 8 o'clock in the morning, anti-ship missiles and the Barokta TB2 unmanned aerial vehicle attacked BK-1 and Krim-1 gas production platforms. The Ukrainian provocation has resulted in an intensive fire at BK-1 platform. This area of the Black Sea has resulted to be in danger of an environmental disaster. Sabotages of the Kyiv regime have been reflected by launching Onyx cruise missiles at Skolny military airfield near Odessa and the destruction of the hangars for Ukrainian Barokta TB2 unmanned aerial vehicles detected by Russian reconnaissance means. Two artillery platoons of M777 howitzers have been destroyed in Kubansky Island. Russian aerospace forces have destroyed two launching ramps of S-300 air defense missile system near Ochakov and Tuzla, Odessa region. Russian Federation armed forces continue launching attacks at military facilities located in Ukraine. High-precision air-based missiles have destroyed four munitions depots near Mirnaya Dolina, Loskutovka, Podlesnoe, Lugansk People's Republic, as well as Bukem-1 air defense system near Seversk, Donetsk People's Republic. In addition, manpower and military equipment of the armed forces of Ukraine, as well as of nationalist groups, including the right sector, have been neutralized near Belaya Gura, Novodruzhevsk, Mirnaya Dolina, Podlesnoe and Volchayarovka. Within counter-battery warfare towards Donetsk, two platoons of Uragan multiple rocket launchers have been neutralized near Zaryanoya and Dimitrov, as well as two platoons of Gyatsin B howitzers at their firing positions near Spartak and Podgorne. Operational tactical and dummy aviation has neutralized 57 manpower and military equipment concentration areas, one command post of the Ukrainian armed forces, as well as multifunction missile guidance radars OS-300 air defense system near Seversk, Donetsk People's Republic. Missile troops and artillery have neutralized 216 manpower and military equipment concentration areas, 28 command posts, 64 artillery units at their firing positions, as well as two munitions depots. Attacks launched by aviation, missile troops and artillery have resulted in 570 nationalists, 29 tanks and other armored combat vehicles, as well as 16 special vehicles. Russian air defense troops have shot down one Su-25 of the Ukrainian Air Force near Mazanovka, Kharkov region. In addition, 19 Ukrainian unmanned aerial vehicles have been shot down near Krutaya Balka, Donetsk People's Republic, Dibrova, Kapitolovka, Liptsi and Zavody, Kharkov region. Five Tochka U tactical missiles as well as 30 projectiles of Uragan multiple rocket launchers have been intercepted near Lazovsky, Lugansk People's Republic, Lazovaya, Kremenets, Alexandrovka, Donetsk People's Republic, Dolginka and Topolska, Kharkov region. In total, 209 airplanes and 132 helicopters, 1,292 unmanned aerial vehicles, 348 anti-aircraft missile systems, 3,709 tanks and other armored combat vehicles, 580 combat vehicles equipped with multiple rocket launching systems, 2,065 field artillery cannons and motors, as well as 3,760 units of special military equipment have been destroyed during the special military operation.
The enemy continues suffering considerable losses during the special military operation. Only 28 servicemen of the 57th Mechanized Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces that operates in Severodonetsk have remained in the ranks. The other has been left only with commanders. Reserves for replenishing the losses are exhausted. Territorial defense battalions that arrive from the western regions of Ukraine for reinforcing refuse to head to the front. Servicemen of the 101st Territorial Defense Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces have stayed that they refused to be involved in the operations and headed to the rear area in the responsibility zone of Solidar Operational Tactical Group. There are more than 600 people who have refused to fight. M777 howitzers delivered by USA and European countries to Ukraine have become a good target for Russian destruction means. 15 howitzers, mostly yet unused and deployed near Druzhevka railway station, have been destroyed over the past 24 hours. Residents of the settlements adjacent to the operation zones in Dnepropetrovsk, Kharkov and Zaporozhye regions are being forcibly mobilized. National police units block the settlements for their purposes. Men of all ages are detained to be mobilized. Kyiv regime spreads information about an allegedly secret trope of Zelensky to Lysychansk, where he faced a shelling. At the same time, the group of Ukrainian troops near Lysychansk has been cut off from supplies and is being under fire and control of the Russian armed forces. According to the Ukrainian prisoners, units of 79th Airborne Assault Brigade have been abandoned by their commanders. Servicemen who remained alive had nothing to do but to surrender for saving their lives. The same situation is in 57th Mechanized Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces. After losing the two-thirds of personnel, its commander backed the group command to inform the Ukrainian Armed Forces General Staff and Zelensky in person about the real situation. Kyiv regime continues spreading fake news in the best tradition of Quartal 95, aiming its military failures for doing something to stop the panic and the escape of its personnel from Donbass.